Hello, hello, hello. I'm Nikki, and today I'm going to try to clarify some things when designing your locked vending machine templates in Canva. Um, listen, I purchased these here designs from off of Etsy. So, when purchasing other people's designs, they want to make sure that you're not trying to resell their designs or make copies of it to where people uh, post them in different um programs to where people can actually take that design mimic mimic them as they were sold and use them for their own use or to resell them so this is the reason why i lock my files and you're unable to move any of the objects or images on the vending machine because those images do not belong to me so i create create the design for the vending machine templates for those who are unable or do not know how to design so when you open up your PDF file, here's where you're going to find your video and here's where you're going to um, access your template. So you will see this and I am using my desktop computer. It says, and at the bottom where it says use template for a new design, click there. And that will bring up the design. Now that you're on the design, you're not going to be able to move this design because I intentionally locked the design so that you do not go in and rearrange or move okay because if you do any rearranging or moving of the template it can set your vending machine off to where it's not being sized right it may it just may not come out right but if you just really feel the need to where i just have to move this design then go ahead click on the image you will see a lock button all right you see that lock button right there I like it. I like it. That's all you got to do. See why I was able to move that? Okay. I'm going to lock that back if you don't mind. Let's lock that back to where it's just in the lock position. Now you can't lock it. Okay. But if it's really just getting on your nerves that bad to where you want to unlock it. All right. You can unlock it and delete it if you like. All right. That has nothing to do with design. It's just information. See this here? The same thing. Unlock it. You see that? You see that? People, you can unlock the vending machine. All right? The reason why I have it locked is so that you don't go and mess up the design. All right? Because if you go in there, you miss round and move this. Uh, you miss round and reside. You see, did you see what just happened? Now you're missing the top. Okay? All right, so if you go in there and you start fumbling around with it accidentally, and then now you're trying to figure out how to get your design back, but you have unlocked it, and now you messed it up. And then you're going to complain about it being unlocked, and you was able to unlock it and mess it up. Okay, so this is why I have it locked, so that you won't be able to go and fumble with it. All right, it's no big deal. Just unlock the vending machine and do as you wish as you wish with it and all of them you will be able to do the same thing okay just see that lock right there bam see that lock right there bam do it again and let's unlock it okay let's make sure see that you can move it delete it if you want okay let's get back to this one unlock it you see that unlock button right there okay unlock it if you want all right it's just that simple you got a lock here and then when you, when it's locked, let's lock it so you can see. You will have another lock. See that lock? Unlock it. You got a lock there. Unlock it. All right. And then you'll be able to move it. It's just that simple, y'all. Okay. So one more, one more thing before I go, so that uh, we don't, we can try to sum it up and cover everything. Let me, I'm gonna just, if you don't mind, I'm gonna lock this back. All right. It's locked back. Can't move it. Can't design it. Okay, so let's add an image. Let me show you how to add an image to your lock um, Canva vending machine. So right over here, I'm going to upload a picture where it says files. Okay, so give me a second. And the file that I uploaded, I made sure that it was a PNG file. So when you upload your file, all you have to do is drag it. Okay, you saw that? Did you see that? All right, let's undo that. All right, if, even if I click, that's another way to add the image. Pages lock unlock to continue. All right, you see that? See how I was able to change that image from the original design this is why i have it locked this is what i've been trying to prevent from doing for you from you all doing is doing that 
So this is another reason why the template is locked. So let's undo this, all right? So I'm gonna put the settings back as your settings should be to where you're able to add images and text only so that you do not make that same mistake. It's moving, we don't want it to move. Right here where this popped up at, I am going to lock position only. All right, so now it's not locking. I mean, it's not moving, it's locked. All right, so now when I put my, my lock settings back on, I am now able to add an image without the original image changing, okay? So this is another reason why your template is locked. So that when you get ready to transfer your image over onto the template, it does not move. You're not gonna be able to move Spider-Man. You're not gonna be able to move any other um, actual images. You're just gonna be able to add into onto. So now if you wanna add a name, you can. All right, let's go ahead and let's make that yellow so that you can be able to see it. And then let's add up to the top where it says effects. Let's make it a um, outline. And then let's make our outline. Let's try a red outline. And then right here. Oh, let's go back to um, effects. And then right here, you can determine your thickness of that outline. You see that? Right here. So where you can move it up and down. All right, y'all, so this is why the, the templates are locked. And this here um, video is going to go for all the vending machine templates, not just Spider-Man. All of the vending machine templates are unlocked. And you can always easily unlock them. And by doing so, if you decide to unlock it, just make sure that you're keeping the same um, size, that you're not changing the size because changing the size uh, will, you know, throw it off. All right? If you have any more questions, feel free, feel free to leave a comment in the description section. Come over to the Facebook page on EPC Crafters, and I'll be more than happy to help you over there as well, okay? Until the next one.